impact of population on planet Earth is increasing day by day. We should remember that we have only one Earth. Billion people on it are using more of its resources than it can provide. Every new person is a new consumer, adding to that demand. Some of us take far more than others, and there are many steps we must take to make our consumption sustainable. Adding few new consumers everywhere is one of them. Everyone understands that many of the Earth's renewable resources are finite. We are currently completely reliant on fossil fuels, iron and other metals, minerals and even such basic commodities, as sent to keep the modern world ticking over. Adding more consumers makes those resources run out faster. The Earth also provides for our needs with renewable resources, such as timber, clean water, and air, healthy soils, and wild fish consumed for food. However, our demands are so great that according to the Global Footprint Network, we are now using those resources at almost twice the rate that the Earth can renew them. That rate has increased continually since the 1970s, and, unless things change, we will require three Earths to supply our needs by 2050. Some people believe that greater efficiencies in the use of resources mean we will use less of them. There is no evidence to support that, however. A study by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 2017 evaluated the use of raw materials such as crude oil and silicon and found that greater efficiencies led to price reductions, making commodities more affordable and increasing their demand and usage. They investigated more than 60 materials and found that only in six was consumption decreasing. The UN's International Resources Panel has projected that resource use per person will be 71% higher than today in 2050. More than 800 million people currently do not get enough food and water to meet their nutritional needs every day. Meanwhile, 650 million are obese. People go hungry not because there's insufficient food, but because our global economic system distributes it unfairly. The number of people suffering from hunger has actually increased in recent years due to development progress not keeping up with rapid population growth. Every extra mouth to feed puts more pressure on our food supply. That is already under threat from multiple factors, including shortage of fresh water, soil depletion, decimated populations of insect pollinators, and climate change. The UN currently projects that we will need 70% more food by 2050. Increasing agricultural production comes at a cost to nature, however. Habitat loss and exploitation are the two most significant threats to biodiversity currently 80% of extinction threats to mammals and birds are due to agriculture. Global population is expected to exceed 11 billion people by 2,100 unless actions are taken to stabilize population growth. Healthy diets from sustainable food systems are possible for up to 10 billion people, but become increasingly unlikely past this population threshold. Action to address population is essential if we are to meet the most basic human right of all ensuring people have enough to eat. Water is an absolute basic human necessity, and each person adds to demand threats to fresh water are even more critical. An MIT study concluded that nearly 5 billion people will live in water-stressed regions by 2050. The United Nations has calculated that water shortages, as a result of climate change, could displace hundreds of millions of people by 2030. Regional variations in water availability are extreme, but many of the world's poorest regions, and those which have high population growth, are among those with the shortest supply. Developed countries also suffer from the effects of population.